Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Well, just to let you know that corruption knows no political party affiliation, New Jersey Democratic Senator Bob Menendez was charged on Friday with corruption-related offenses for the second time in 10 years. Um, basically, he's been in cahoots with a couple of people, a couple of businessmen, and I guess the government of Egypt. And bribes that he accepted included cash, home mortgage payments, uh, compensation for a low or no-show job, a luxury vehicle, which was a Mercedes-Benz, and most interestingly, gold bars. <laughs> that I mean, that's just wild. Okay, now we can all think, oh yeah, we all think of like a suitcase of cash, but gold bars, that's intriguing. That's kind of like um, that one astronaut, female astronaut who tried to kidnap another female astronaut in a love triangle for a male astronaut, and she wore the diapers so she could do a across like a 13-hour drive without having to stop to go to the bathroom. We're all focused on the diapers. It's gold bars. Same thing. Okay, so back in 2016 or so, 15 or 16, the government brought Menendez up on charges for, you know, bribery and corruption. And it ended in a mistrial in 2017, at which point Menendez says he's going to go after those who were trying to end his political career and here we go again. Here we go again. You know, he didn't learn his lesson the first time. And if anything, he probably got more brazen about it. And they caught him again. All right. So Menendez is the chair of the Foreign Relations Committee. <laughs> Not a small committee assignment. A Democratic caucus rules will now force him from that chairmanship position. But he'll still be on the committee. And uh, the Democratic caucus... And the governor of New Jersey and Democrats in New Jersey are asking him to resign. I doubt he will because, well, he didn't resign the last time and he beat the charges. So he'll probably try and do that again. But please note <laughs> the difference between how the Democrats are handling corruption versus how the Republicans are hand handling corruption, with maybe the exception of the Republican House members and George Santos. Because I know that the Republican House members in New York wanted Santos to step down. Um, I'll be curious to see what, how the Democratic, uh, the Democrats, uh, especially in the Senate, uh, react to this. So let's get the energy around uh, Senator Menendez's uh, uh, indictment. There were like 10 charges that he and his wife were indicted on. King of Pentacles. <laughs> well, there you go. Loves his money, doesn't he? He loves his money, loves his luxury. So this is kind of, you know, the senator here, just like, you know, people want to come to see the senator and he's wondering what offerings they're going to bring to him. This is the low energy King of Pentacles that looks at you and says, you know, I'm already wealthy. What do you, what are you bringing to me that's going to enrich my life more? Crossed with the world. Okay. You know, his corruption is now worldwide because he's involving Egypt. The Egypt one is basically... An associate of his was working with the Egyptian government to import halal meat from Egypt. And he was the only one allowed to import it into the United States or something like that from Egypt. And um, if, uh, uh, USFDA or there was a government agency that was saying, going to Egypt, saying, hey, we don't like this. And Menendez went after him and said, no, leave him alone. Let this guy do what he needs to do. Who was it? Department of Agriculture went after it. This is back in 2019. I'll have a link to the article in my in my description. But okay, so you know this is it's his corruption, it's worldwide corruption, and it could be an end to his worldwide corruption. What do we have underneath it? Yes, because things are now exposed. Truth is coming out again on this guy for the second time. And I and I my gut feeling tells me the second time is the charm. I don't think he's gonna get away with a hung jury on this one. In the past, we've got the moon card. You know, he, he, there was confusion that he caused in the last trial that got him off, even though it was similar uh, charges. And <clears throat> he just kept doing what he was doing because he got away with it. And now he's not getting away with it because, now here we go again, he's being exposed for uh, you know, backroom dealings and secret shenanigans in the back. Current situation, nine of pentacles. 
Oh, some people should just sit back and enjoy the good life that they have. But some people are greedy and they just want more. I think he, most likely he was already wealthy to begin with, but um, his greed got the better of him. And he just, like as the King of Pentacles, just wanted more and more and more and more. Just hoarding stuff at this point. <laughs> Even more Pentacles. Um, yeah. Uh, I <laughs> I don't know his, his family history. You know, if the, is this uh, uh, money that he wanted to... Sh to keep, you know, make the Menendez family this powerful family in the United States. But you can see King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. This is just all about money. Corruption and money through and through. Lesson to be learned. The Department of Justice doesn't stop. This is, again, my Department of Justice Merrick Garland type card. They had you... The first time, but you got off on a on, on a hung jury, and they are dogged. They weren't, <clears throat> you know, that learn their lesson from the first one. Go after you again. They just, you know, fo basically following the money to get back to the King of Pentacles. Outcome is the fool. Will he get away with it again this time, like he did the last time, or is he going to step off the cliff? Uh, we will see how that goes. Let's throw a qualifier. The Fool card. What's that? What does that mean? We got the Queen of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the End. Okay. Um, I think both he and his again this time both he and his wife were involved in this. Uh, it might. I don't want to say it's mistakes on the wife's part. I, I don't know that, but there's a woman here with money that caused problems and it's going to be the end of him. This is the end of his political career and probably will result in incarceration. Maybe he convinces them that his wife really had nothing to do with it. It was all him and he takes the swords uh, for he and his spouse. But that's a fool card of him walk him starting a new journey in prison. Okay, so um, that's, that's my take on... The Menendez trial. Is there anything else I want to throw on that? Oh, yeah, that was wild. Um, the first time that he got off in 2017, Trump applauded him. So, you know, congratulated him for, you know, beating the Department of Justice on these corruption charges. What? Why would you even... He's the president at the time. Why would you even weigh in on that? You know, it's funny. He always... He applauds men who get off on rape charges and stuff like that. And he applauds men who get off on... Who get away with corruption charges. I mean, I think we all can take that to its natural progression as to why he would uh, applaud him. But, um... Empress card just popped up. Uh... Trump doesn't applaud people uh, for no reason. You know, he applauds Putin and never criticizes Putin because he gets something from Putin and he's scared of Putin. I wonder if Menendez has something on Trump or they have some business arrangement and Menendez has dirt on Trump. So I'm going to throw on that real quick as I recall that part of the story. What is the connection between Senator Menendez and Donald Trump? And again, this is one of those things where we really need to purge both houses, both in the Senate and in Congress, or in um, total, overall in Congress, both the Senate and the House, both Republicans, Democrats. Although I suspect we will see more Republicans purged than Democrats for corruption. But, you know, again, corruption knows no party affiliation. It's all about greed. What is the connection between Trump and Senator Menendez? Um... King of Swords. Does that mean Jack Smith is coming to visit us? Uh, I think this is, you know, this could fall into the people have mutual uh, blackmail on each other. Let me go ahead and throw um, additional cards on that and we will figure it out. I'll throw, I'll throw the whole spread here and then I'll see if I can get the whole story. Oh, a lot of swords. Huge number of swords here. Holy cow. 
<sighs> Celebration. <clears throat> I am not, I'm, you know what? I'm still going to stick, I'm going to go back to this. This isn't really telling me about his relationship with, um, Trump's relationship with Menendez. I think this is talking about, uh, this is talking about Jack Smith. This somehow th these guys might be connected in here. Let me read this as the question asked, but then I'm going to read it the way I see it. Okay, so this means that you no, know, there's very harsh business arrangement between the two of them. There's you know um, like somebody's got dirt on the other one. Somebody's somebody's daddy, for lack of a better description. And you know you can be you can play nice or we can play dirty. The choice is yours. In the past, there was a huge burden. And I'm going to say that this, that Menendez has something on Trump, not the other way around, because Trump would just say he's another corrupt Democrat, right? So this would say that Menendez and Trump have a relationship. Menendez has some authority over Trump, and Trump needs to choose his battles. Um, maybe there was something Menendez to bail Donald Trump out of some uh, financial straits he was in or something along those lines. <coughs> But again, corrupt people will hang out with each other. So when he bailed them out, they probably came up with some type of arrangement that helped, maybe he helped Trump get to the crown or something along those lines. But these guys were somehow linked with a common goal. But there's some disappointment and some loss, some betrayal there. Um, oh, I have such a hard time connecting him through relationships it's um yeah i'm having a hard time getting through this one this almost like it's going to the trial like trump maybe trump somehow interfered in the trial does that make sense you know if um doj is going after i'm going to go back to my jack smith or doj let's say the doj you have a prosecutor going after menendez offering him a plea deal it was a, menendez was in a hard situation but then all of a sudden he he got a secret weapon basically pulled out, pulled the sword out of the stone. And this could be, maybe he was able to work with Trump to weaken the case or interfere with the case somehow. There's some betrayal here with secrets that were held, uh, done behind the scenes and it affected the, uh, affected the trial. But even that's not really resonating with me. Here's... <laughs> You know, again, when I do these readings, I ask a question and then I'm looking at the cards and I'm trying to make sense of it. My first reaction when I saw the, the, the King of Swords was Jack Smith. So now if I read this as a Jack Smith card, to me, it flows a lot better. I think Jack Smith is um, connected somehow to these latest charges. Because I, I don't think we're going back in the past. We're going to the, the, the present. Um and had a couple of ways he could go about it. Maybe he could throw Menendez, uh, uh, link Menendez with Trump. But there's a decision that needed to be made with that. And there's a celebration because they're actually going forward with that prosecution at this point. In the past, I think it was hard on the Department of Justice when they lost that case. So they made it their mission that they were going to get Menendez this time around. They weren't going to let him slip through the cracks. Um, again, it was that that betrayal, that um, that disappointment that they didn't get him the first time, and they learned their lesson from that first time and applied the lessons that they learned. That that disappointment drove the lessons that they learned to bring this home, and now they're going to get judgment on this, and they're going to celebrate their success. All right, so. <laughs> Um, so the, even now the King of Swords, as I read through that, I don't think the King of Swords is Jack Smith. I think that's just the prosecutor that's going after uh, Men Mr. Menendez. I was asking, you know, what's Trump's connection to him? Spirit's not answering that question. <laughs> I think all Spirit wants to say is, don't worry about what Trump did with Menendez in the past, if anything. Don't worry about why Trump is celebrating him. It's probably nothing. It's just corrupt people celebrating corrupt people. Um, and you can see when I try to read these cards, even with, you know, I asked a specific question 
and I'm trying to read it, and the story's not making sense to me. I, I stopped right about the about the uh, high priestess card because it's just like this isn't resonating with me. I'm just I'm forcing it. I can tell I'm forcing it, which is why I stopped. And now I read it again as okay, Jack Smith is doing something with Trump, and it just doesn't quite get there. It gets most of the way there, and then if I just take out Jack Smith and make it the prosecutor and how he feels, okay, everything flows now for me. That story flows. So um, if you wonder how I do it, that's how I do it. <laughs> as much as I would like to fish to shoehorn Trump into this reading, eh, I don't think he really has a lot to do with it. It's just corruption. Um, I think they got their man this time, and I think in this case. They're going to get that conviction that they're looking for. And I say good for them on that. I don't care if this guy is a, a Democrat or not. And I don't care that the Democrats, you know, basically are holding a tie or have a one vote lead in the Senate. Uh, if he's corrupt, remove him. Uh, fortunately for us, uh, there I believe it's a Democratic governor in New Jersey, so he should be able to appoint a Democratic senator. So we're not really losing any ground on, on this on this but the principle of the matter is still the same you have a corrupt politician who's been twice indicted once was a hung jury this time i think they've got him dead to rights you know get him out we don't need that type of corruption in our leaders get get leaders who aren't corrupt that's kind of my thought on it anyways that's the end of this reading uh thank you for watching this video i hope you found it entertaining and, and mildly informative despite the multiple attempts on that second reading um Thank you for your comments, your likes, and your shares. I really do appreciate it. As Shirley Not points out, you know, it feeds the YouTube algorithm and it helps my video get out to more and more people. And the I get basically as more people see it, they come in and become part of the community. And I'm it's been great watching uh, the community grow. So thank you for those of you who've been with me for a long time supporting my videos. Welcome to the new viewers. I hope you uh, enjoy this community, and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.